Hey, I'm Aimu and I represent Mindfulness Research Center. I'm pleased to finally present you our latest technological achievement, Delta. Delta is a polyphonic CD and clock generator. Each one of these buttons is an independent top tempo with its own output, where the top three are CV outputs and the bottom six are gate outputs. Every top tempo can have its own set of values for the following settings. Phase, shape, tempo divider and multiplier. But let's get started. All you need to do is tap a tempo. This CV out is going to control the cutoff frequency of this filter. Well, the middle one is going to control the pitch of our oscillator and the third one is going to change the stereo panning of the filter. I'm going to first set three identical taps. You can do that using the copy and paste functions. There's also a delete function. To change our top tempo settings, all you need to do is press and hold the desired top tempo and turn the encoder. But let's check more in detail the settings. Phase. The phase control will allow you to shift a top phase from zero up to 360 degrees. Shape. So shape will work in two different ways depending if we're applying it to our CVs or to our gate outputs. In the case of our CV outputs, the shape control will morph our top LFO waveform from ramp down to triangle to ramp up. While for the six lower tabs, shape will control the PWM of our gate output. Divider multiplier. This control will allow you to quickly access clock divisions or multiplications of the original tap tempo. It's worth to mention that uh, timeout for your tap tempo read is 4 seconds, but it's through this control that you can reach the slowest speed of 50 seconds and the maximum speed of 50 milliseconds, which is approximately 20 Hz. CV control. Delta has three CV inputs. One for each of the top tempo settings. And these CVs can be routed to our desired top tempos. To do that, press and hold the encoder and select the desired top. While the encoder is pressed, the gem LED will show you the incoming CV level. I'm now sending an envelope to control the phase modulation of this tab. Let's send as well a sample and hold output to the divider multiplier of this tab. And I'm gonna send the bipolar version of this envelope to the shape control of those two tabs. External clock. Delta offers as well the possibility to quantize your tabs to an external clock source. Like for the CV inputs, you can decide which one of the tabs gets to follow your external clock. 
just press and hold the dedicated top button. I'm gonna send the end of cycle of this envelope to the clock input and assign it to those two tabs. So you can see now that the tabs will follow my incoming clock. It's worth to mention that by pressing the tempo button, the gem LED will show you the incoming signal. You can see now how easily you can have both free running and externally clocked tabs in the same ecosystem. Gravitational mode. There's also a special mode, which is named gravitational mode. This will let tabs interact between each other in the following way. By pressing and holding our gravitational button, you can activate the gravitational pull of specific tabs. This tab now will affect the surrounding tabs. There's two ways in which tabs will behave in this mode. For the case of gate outputs, the surrounding tabs will get XORed by the main tab. While in the case of LFOs, the closest LFO will get cross-modulated. And you can see how by changing the settings, you can quickly change the results of this cross-modulation. Randomization layer. The last feature of Delta is the ability to access a randomization layer that adds an offset value to our top tempo settings. The encoders will act as a micro control over the amount of randomization. An encoder press will generate a new set of values. This function is non-destructive, which means that you can easily get back to your original settings. This is a very handsome function to quickly change your patch without the fear of losing your previous settings. Also, I forgot to mention, you can save one preset. Just press and hold the copy button. To load, press and hold the paste button. Well, that's everything. Thanks for watching. Held the donut.